Hello, vinyl community, and anyone else watching this. As I sort of promised at the end of my last video, I thought I'd do a garage video. Um, I've liked garage rock since its resurgence in the very late 70s and uh, early 80s. And um, it's just, I don't know, maybe it's the fact that it just sounds easy. <laughs> That it sounds like anybody could play it, which is the idea of garage rock. So um, I've been collecting garage rock for a long time, and I'm going to show you a lot tonight. But it's not everything I have either. Um, but it's a lot of it, and it's a good representation. And um, I'm not going to say much about any of the albums because there's so many. I'll just kind of show them to you, and if they're a little important, I'll tell you that. But um, I will tell you that I kind of divided it into three categories. Compilations, um, original garage rock, and garage rock resurgence. So uh, I guess I'll just begin. And uh, I'll start with the uh, record that started the resurgence. Of course, the original Nuggets album on Electra Records. That is what's playing behind us, by the way. There's the back cover to that. And the gatefold, but unfortunately, I only have record two of this, side two and three. I got it for free a long time ago, and I've never gotten a proper one to replace it. However, I do have the Sire reissue from around 1976. The thing about this album is that it's the exact same tracks in the exact same order, but those are all the single versions on the original, and these are all the album versions in stereo on the reissue. So it's really weird and it's not the same thing, but it's what I have for Nuggets. And then of course, in the mid 80s, Rhino came out with their re own resurgence of Nuggets. Um, and there's 14 of these. I don't have them all, but this is volume one, the hits. And I have two of these. So if anybody needs one, let me know, and maybe we could work something out, or maybe I'll give one away as a prize or something someday. Um, there's volume two, Punk. I'll just keep it in my hand for a minute. Volume three, Pop. I also have another copy of volume three, Pop. So once again, if anybody needs one, or maybe I'll give them away as a prize or something. I don't know. I got two of them in a thrift store, really cheap ones, so I bought them. Volume 4, Pop Part 2. Volume 5, Pop Part 3. They didn't seem to go in any order as far as what they were doing. Volume 6, Punk Part 2. And my last one I have is Volume 7, which is early San Francisco. And that does it for the Nuggets. And of course... Somebody said, hey, they're, they're doing all right with that. Maybe we should do something and we'll call it Pebbles. Here, I have a few of these. Here's Pebbles Part 2, Volume 2. I also have Pebbles Volume 4. Pebbles Volume 5. These have all been just the typical punk rock genre kind of stuff that you find on these. And uh, Volume 6 is Mod. And I will show you this one because um, it's on this sort of, you can't really see it right well in here. It's on turquoise vinyl and it's really cool. And I always love the record label, BFD Records. <laughs> and then of course, keeping going with the Nuggets theme, you've got to have Portuguese Nuggets, Volume 1. Portuguese Nuggets Volume 2 and of course you'd have to have Portuguese Nuggets Volume 3. There are some interesting songs on these. I like other countries idea of garage rock as well as I like um, America sometimes. They're uh, interesting. That spawned of course the Back from the Grave series. I only have a couple of these. I have Volume 3 here and I also have volume 8, which is a double. That's what I have for Back to the Grave. 
and Highs of the 60s, Volume 3. And then this company came out. These aren't great, but I got them really cheap a long time ago. New. Um, the Psychedelic 60s. This one's called Never Existed. And then here's another one. Texas Punk Rock 64 to 68, Volume 3. I thought I had more of these, but I guess that's all I have. At least that's all I could find. Chicago Garage Band, the best of Rembrandt Records, 64 to 68. I actually like this record a lot. The History of Northwest Rock, Volume 3. This has some great stuff on it, including the Whalers. Um, a great song called All of My Nights and All of My Days, which is really quiet and really nice. What else was on here? Um, something else. Who Do You Love by the Woolies. My Generation by the Bards is on here. Feeling Down by the London Bus. A Hundred or Two by the Springfield Rifle. This is a good comp. Bay State Rock, Volume 1, the 60s. This has some good stuff on it, too. This one's fairly recent, I believe. Delaware Garage. Um, there's some good stuff on there. I like it a lot, actually. I love this. Girls with Guitars, Volume 1. There's been many, many versions of this and many, many pressings. This is the latest. But this has a song on it um, called I'm Gonna Destroy That Boy by the What Four, which is just one of my favorite, favorite sort of girl garage rock songs that has ever been made. It's just awesome. And this is on colored vinyl, but I can't remember what color. It would be on red vinyl. And it's just, I love this record. I, I love this record. Here's a uh, Frantic Shindig. I have no idea, but it's got some interesting stuff on it. Now you're getting into even lower depths of garage here. Moxie presents the Garage Zone. <laughs> here we go. Scum of the Earth, Part 2. <laughs> also on Moxie Records. This actually has a great song on it. Um, but they don't know what it's called. Um, they don't know what the song's called or the group is. They just call them the group and they put question marks by the song, but it's a great little, anyway, really good stuff there. Here's an original garage rock kind of record, Freak Beat USA. This has like bands called The Aftermath and The Hands of Time and Mom's Boys and International Theater Foundation. Some of them are covers, some of them are originals and um, from Sidewalk Records. And it's an interesting record. Jump, Jive, and Harmonize. There's a whole bunch of these put out by uh, the Teenage Shutdown people. And uh, they're all interesting. They're not amazing, but they're all pretty good. This is getting to the roots of the garage thing. Everybody's bopping. Early Northwest uh, rockers and instrumentals. Norton put that out. Now we're getting a little foreign. Here's a searching go in the wilderness. This is um, put out by what Music Express. This is a German album. It's got mostly German bands on it. And an early, early, early Kinks track is on here, which is why I picked it up. I'm talking like pre-Ravens Kinks. Early, early stuff. It's an interesting record. Little British freak beat which is like pretty much their version of Garage. There's some definitely interesting stuff on this album. Now we go to Chinese Rocks, Chinese Garage. And I love Chinese Garage. There's a band called The Spiders. They were amazing. And also The Mops, which I forgot to get out. Let me see if I can find that. <laughs> Hang on. Be down here. Down here. Hang on. Think about the mops. 
I'll be showing the mops now as well, but not quite yet. Nippon Girls, part one. Um, this is garage rock and other sorts of independent records made in Japan in the 60s. And I actually like this kind of stuff. It reminds me of French pop a little bit, um, which I'm a huge sucker for pr French pop as well. And this is on orange sort of marbled vinyl. This is really, really cool. And I also have Nippon Girls Volume 2. And uh, my lighting here isn't doing justice to these covers. These covers are fantastic. Just the color of them. And, uh, let's see here. I can do that. Come on. And this one is on sort of orange slightly marbled vinyl. Awesome, awesome records. I think they're amazing. And now some modern garage. Battle of the Garages. Uh, this was put out by Vox Records and uh, it's got some early Chesterfield Kings on here and uh, who else is on here? The Crawdaddies are on here. Uh, the Unclaimed. This is some really good like second wave of the Garage Revival. And then a few years later, they did Volume 2, Battle of the Garages. And my buddy Bernie was on this one. The Mystic Eyes are on here, as well as the Fires Tones, the Vipers, the Miracle Workers. And I saved in the back, this is a um, flyer that I picked up the night I went to see this show. The Cynics and my friend, the Mystic Eyes with the Beatmongers. And um, I've kept this in this record all this time, so since the mid-80s. And um, I always just thought that was a cool thing to keep. Okay, that does it for the compilations. Now I'll start with the original Garage Guys. And uh, I have mostly reissues. Um, I've never been lucky enough to be able to find decent copies of the real thing at a decent price. Although I did pass up a fairly good Bubble Puppy album one time and said, what am I doing? But that's a rarity. Um, this I've gotten recently. Um, 10 Inch by the Dell Vets. And I think it's pretty much everything they ever did. And Sundays put this out. I also got same kind of thing by the Knaves. Leave Me Alone. Also on Sundays. And... The third Bardo, five years ahead of our time. All of these are 10 inches on all put out by Sunday. Now I kind of went alphabetically here. So we're gonna start out with the Barbarians. And this isn't everybody I have either. This is, I just pulled a few. The, fir the first and only Barbarians LP. Um, and mine isn't in amazing shape as you can see. The record's okay, it's not great, but it's all right. And uh, I also have Rhino. One of the first albums they ever put out is a, they reissued it with a different cover. This is the same Barbarians album. And the Rhino version might be rarer than the original album. I'm not sure. They're both pretty rare records these days. This is fairly common and almost psychedelic. The Blues Magoo is electric comic book, but they did definitely start out as a garage band. The best of the Chocolate Watch Band on Rhino. A nice reissue of the Leaves one and only album, Hey Joe. And this is on Lion Records, I believe. German record. Music Explosion, A Little Bit of Soul. Lori put that out. That's an original. Uh, Todd Rundgren and the Naz. A little bit psychedelic, a little bit garagey. Um, this is the Rhino reissue of the first album. I have two copies of the second Naz album. <laughs> um, and, uh, of course, there's a reason I have two copies. But I'm not sure which is which. I think it's this one. And, of course, I didn't take the shrink off or anything like that. Yeah. 
a lot of these were pressed on red vinyl. I might have shown this before, but uh, that's why I have two copies of that. And then, of course, Naz 3. Um, this is another Rhino reissue here. The Shadows of Night, G-L-O-R-A, their greatest hits. This is a really nice uh, import compilation on Edsel Records. The Shadows of Night, again, live, 1966. Some raw, raw live garage music there. There's the back. Sundays to put that out. Get to some standouts here. The Dirty Water album, their first album on Tower Records. Not in very good shape at all. Much better shape. R.G. Plank owned this. Uh, why pick on me? Sometimes good guys don't wear white. Again, on Tower. The Try album on Tower. All of these excellent garage rock LPs. The best of the standouts on Rhino. Standouts Rarities album also on Rhino. The Swingin' Medallions double shot of my baby's love on Smash. I call these guys garage. Whether they are or not, I don't know. The Trogs, Wild Thing. I mean, this has got to be British Garage. What else could it be? And there's the Love is All Around. Getting slightly psychedelic, but there's Girl in Black is on this album. So that's still Garage, definitely. Best of the Trogs on Rhino. Yeah, Rhino. Now we're into modern uh, garage rock, and this is a band out of Boston called The Charms, and they're not amazing, but they're pretty good, and there's a song on here called So Romantic that I love so much, it's not even funny. This is on Little Steven's Wicked Cool Records. Is there are a couple of these that are going to be coming up. Chesterfield Kings, Night of the Living Eyes. This is a great compilation of all their really ultra early tracks. Good stuff on here. They're still doing a lot of covers on there. Chesterfield Kings Stop album. They do a great cover of um, Fight Fire by the Gollywogs, who of course were um, John Fogarty's band before uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Awesome stuff there. And Chesterfield Kings don't open till Doomsday. One more. One of their latest albums. Psychedelic Sunrise with Chesterfield Kings. This is a really good garage album. I really, really like this album a lot. And again, it's on Little Steven's Wicked Cool Records. And my record's gonna end. The Cynics Get Out of Our Way. I just got this recently. And um, this is an awesome record. It's on Get Hip Records, which is their label, actually. It's on red vinyl. And um, I didn't buy it from Get Hip, though. I bought it from a guy. It does have a little corner cut out. But there's a nice little... Um, thing in here about other Get Hip releases and a 45 catalog on the back and the guy didn't even know he was doing this he sent me an original promo poster for this album this is on heavy paper this is like really cool I might have to frame this I mean this is really awesome and he just threw that in so I think that that, that just like made my day he flipped my record very very quickly Still don't have my turntable situation straightened out. Someday. Uh, the Flesh Tones with Blast Off. I haven't opened this yet. Um, it came with a single. Um, they're doing Carol Lynn and Soul Strutton and um, the hit on this album. Um, American something. I can't remember now, right now. Um, oh, it's not. On, it's just on the album, I guess. Anyway. For the 45, I did get this from Get Hip. They sent me a whole sheet of 45 um, strips, which I think is really cool. So, thank them for that. Flesh Tones Live in Paris, 1985, another French LP. Gore Gore Girls, sort of horror garage rock. 
There they are. Uh, they do a great cover on this, but I can't remember what it is. Keep your hands off my baby, little Eva. Great cover. The Hate Bombs hunt you down. I don't know a whole lot about this band except um, they do a couple covers and uh, I really liked what I've heard from it so far. Hell on Heels. I just love the name of the band. Um, and they do a great cover of um, Lulu's I'll Come Running Home on here. And um, Jimmy Page is on guitar on the original version of that. Their version kicks butt too. And uh, no, I was thinking this one is on colored vinyl, which means it's not. So I'm not sure which is the first and which is the second album, but I have one more by them. I like the last one better, but uh, as you can see, this one is on lovely pink vinyl. So that's a pretty cool record. The Hipsters, Hipsterization. This is a live album. I don't know if they have any studio albums or not. They do mostly covers, Midnight Hour, Right on Sunset Strip, things like that. It's an original on Bomp Records and it is on blue vinyl. They have reissued this on blue vinyl again, but this is an original copy. Buffalo Garage Rock, Mother's Rock by the Jack Lords. Come on, you want to name a band, name a band the Jack Lords. That is an awesome name. There's a great song on here called Tall Thin Ghost. It's amazing. But this whole album is really, really good. They cover I Wish You Would. Um, Dashboard Mary is really good on here, too. This is an excellent band. And I knew those guys slightly, just slightly. British <laughs> Garage Rock. The Rent, the Rent Price 3. Rent a Crowd. This is an awesome album, and I love this album. And I love, this is the next one. That's their second, this is their third album, um, Pictures. This Pictures is a great song. Mr. Gray is a bit, great song. This album had Cold 500, Mesmer. Great albums. I haven't heard this one yet. The Len Price 3 came out a couple years ago. Nobody knows. And the first two were on Wicked Cool Records, by the way. They've changed labels now to gym recordings. I don't know how this one is, but I can't wait to find out. More Boston Garage Rock, The Liars, their first album on Ace of Hearts Records. Don't Give It Up Now is on here. I'm telling you, girl, their cover of Love Me To The Sunshine. Help You Anne is on this album. Great, great Garage Rock. Their first EP, just called Liars, with the original version of She Pays the Rent. Awesome, awesome song. And Liars, Liars, this is their second album on Ace of Hearts Records. And they covered She Pays the Rent with a completely different, almost solely James Brown kind of version. Another really good record. On No Reason to Complain, they covered by the Alarm Clocks on there too. Awesome record. I saw this movie in the bins in high fidelity, or this movie, this record, and I'm like, I need to get one of those. So I did. Um, one of the few records I knew about when I bought it, in print, in vinyl, and not on CD, which I think is amazing. This is a compilation of all their early singles. The Mummies are just fantastic. As grungy as you can get, Garage Rock. My buddies from Buffalo, the Mystic Eyes. I knew Bernie Kugel quite well, who is that guy, the lead singer, songwriter, um, guitar player. Awesome, awesome band out of Buffalo, New York. They did two albums. Craig Davidson died quite a little while ago now, I believe, of cancer. And uh, they were kind of ending anyway, but that put an end to that band, and that was a shame. Their second album, The Whole World Is Watching. Not quite as good as the first one, but still very worthwhile picking up. These are both still in print on uh, Get Hip Records. That, uh, I think this is the first album Get Hip put out. Let me see. Yep. This is Get Hip 1001. The very first album on Gat Hip Records with my buddies, Mystic Eyes.
And that's awesome. Another Buffalo band, an EP by a little group of kids called the Ramrods. But it's really good. <laughs> and you'll never find one, but it's worth checking out. Some Swedish, I think they're from Sweden. Um, the soundtrack of our lives. They do sort of psychedelic garage band in the modern mode. And there's a great cover of um, Nick Drake's the fly on here which is absolutely outstanding and that is on clear wax and the soundtrack of our lives greatest hits is the only other thing I have by them on vinyl this is a double also on colored vinyl and um, great stuff more Buffalo garage rock the Splat Cats Sin 73 you have any idea why they called this Sin 73 and if you turn Sin 73 upside down, you get Elvis. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? This has got an amazing cover of Surf and Her on it, and it's worth it just for that. But this is a really good garage rock album. And they put out a P or an EP too with two new songs, and they remixed Surf and Her a little bit, called the Sandy Candy and Hank album. Um, these are both on Moving Target Records. Almost done here. The Urges, Psych Ward. Had this on CD, forgot about it, and I saw Matt Sands picked it up, and I remembered it. <laughs> and, um, found a copy, very happily. Um, this is another one on Wicked Cool Records, and really sort of down and dirty, grungy garage rock. Forget where they're from. They're not American, I'm pretty sure they're German or Swedish or something. And last but not least, The Woggles, Rock and Roll Backlash. What a great garage song that is. And there's another song called Porridge on here that is just awesome. Again, Little Steven's Wicked Cool label right there. And one more, The Woggles. <laughs> Tempo Tantrum. This is a mostly an instrumental album. Again, put out by Wicked Cool. And, um... It's really good. It's Garage Rock Instrumentals. <sighs> I know that was a lot, um, if you're still watching. <laughs> Thanks. I wish I would have had more time to go through some of them, but I didn't want this video to be a year long. Um, so, thank you all my subscribers, and thanks everybody that watches, and uh, thank you for watching this. Um, and if you don't know Garage Rock and you like things a little rough and ready, um, give it a try. And most of those are actually good recommendations. Um, I, I like almost every album that I showed you. So, um, anyway, listen to more Garage Rock. That's what I have to say. All right, till next time, thanks uh, for listening. Check out the podcast, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com. Um, it's the Snap, Crackle, and Pop and Vinyl Hour. And um, thank you for watching, and like and subscribe if you like. Thanks. Bye.